works with machines that can enhance our hearing, eyesight, what? Health, and much more. Did, did you did you hear that? No 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 way no way. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're back at it again. And today we're going to be watching what will humans look like in a thousand years. I won't be here. I don't know. I don't even know if humans are going to be here. Obviously, we are. We're going to last thousands of years, but in this time, we're living in a crisis. So, wash your hands and stay safe out there. Let's get into the video. Boom. There it is. So, right now we just see the galaxy. <laughs> Alright, let's start the video. What humans will look like in a thousand years. Humans are still evolving. So where will evolution take us in a thousand years? Uh, my chance are that I'm going to be dead. <laughs> I'm going to be long gone in heaven. So, yeah. Where are you? Will you? Where? Ah, I can't. What about English? Excuse me. What will... What do you think where you will be in a thousand years? Comment down below. Chances are we'll be taller. Humans have already seen a boom in height over the last 130 years. In 1880, the average American male was five foot seven. Oh. Today, he's five. I'm five five or five six actually, and comment down below what uh what your height is. I'm curious to know if anyone is taller than me. Also merge with machines that can enhance our hearing, eyesight, what? Health, and much more. Did, did you did you hear that? No 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 way no way. He's five foot ten. No way. We may also merge with machines that can enhance our hearing, eyesight. Do not do that, please. Okay. Elon Musk says that AI will destroy us in the future. I believe that. We already have like artificial military robots and not robots but AI or artificial whatever their name are. Like <laughs> this is stupid. Oh my god. Is that going to be happen like in the year 2050 or something? Help and much more. Right now I mean, that's there are good. Aids that let you record sounds, generate white noise, and even come with a built in phone. Another example is a team out of the University of Oregon, which is developing bionic eyes that help the blind to see. Well, that's it's good. It's not that's impossible good. to imagine that the technology could become a tool for seeing what we currently consider invisible, like different energies of light, such as infrared and x-rays. There will eventually be a day where prosthetics are no longer just for the disabled. However, it's not just our outside appearance that will change. Our genes will also evolve on microscopic levels to aid our survival. I mean, example, in Oxford, let's I mean, obviously, humans have been evolving. First, we were like whatever the hell that was, and we're evolving to like, you know, like, like those stuff. So that's pretty much it. Study discovered a group of HIV-infected children in South Africa living healthy lives. It turns out they have a built-in defense against HIV that prevents the virus from advancing to AIDS. And with gene editing tools like CRISPR, we may eventually control our genes and DNA to the point where we make ourselves immune to disease and even reverse the effects of aging. Another way to what? start the human evolution on a different path is to move some of us to Mars. Yeah, Mars four years from now. Mars is 66% less sunlight than Earth, which can mean humans on Mars will evolve larger pupils that can absorb more light in order to see. And since Mars's gravitational pull is only 38% of Earth's, people born on Mars might actually be taller than anyone on Earth. In what? Space, We're gonna be like seven feet Earth tall? Expands, which led American oh my god. Robert I can't, yeah, I can't imagine that. Mars's that. low gravity could allow the human spine to elongate enough to add a few extra inches to our height. That's However, crazy. However, not even a move to Mars could spark the biggest change in human evolution that we may have coming for the next thousand years. Immortality. The path to immortality will what? require humans to download their consciousness into a machine. Right now, scientists in Yo, China no. are Yo, that's crazy. On animals to determine if you can transfer consciousness from one body. Okay, to okay, okay that, that was way too creepy looking. <laughs> what? Whatever happens what? in the next thousand years, whether we merge with machines or become them, one thing is certain. The human race is always changing. And the faster we change and branch off from Earth, the better chance we have of outrunning extinction. Yeah, 
that part at the end part that is accurate that was it i hope you guys enjoyed this video